I'm happy, sad today, by Lori Britton. Sometimes I just feel happy. That's all. I feel the noisy, giggling, jump and run kind of happy. Sometimes I feel a different kind of happy when I'm cozy in my favorite spot with my favorite book. I'm the quiet kind of happy. Other times I feel sad. Once I was sick and couldn't go to my friend's birthday party. I had a crying, nothing's right sort of sad. The day our neighbors moved away, I was a different kind of sad. I didn't smile for that whole day or even part of the next day. Lots of times, I have more than one feeling inside of me. Like when my mom picks me up at school and I have to stop playing. I'm happy to see her, but sad to leave my friends. I say, Mom, I'm happy sad to get her. The morning I walked into my new classroom for the very first time, I felt scared and brave to get her. Lots of people felt the same way sometimes. Last week, I was friendly and shy at once. I felt too shy to talk to the new girl, even when I gave her a friendly smile. Sometimes I feel nervous and excited at the same time. That's how I felt about my first sleepover. I was nervous for two whole days before it was time to go, and excited too. One time, I had two big feelings swirling around inside. I was sad and mad when my friends wouldn't play with me. I felt sad that they weren't being nice and mad that they didn't let me play. Both feelings together. When I fell down at the playground, I wasn't sure how I felt or what I wanted. Part of me wanted to be picked up like a little kid. Another part of me wanted to get right up and keep climbing. I had a little kid feeling and a big kid feeling mixed together. I had big feelings when my baby brother was born. I was proud to be a big sister. And I was jealous of all the attention he was getting. I had proud and jealous feelings inside of me. That was confusing. Last week, I learned to cut out a circle with scissors. I couldn't cut out a curvy line on my first try. I was frustrated. I didn't want any help. I was determined to keep trying. Finally, I did it. When I have more than one feeling inside of me, I don't have to choose just one. I know that all my feelings are okay at the same time. If I want to, I can tell my friends about my feelings, or I can tell a grown-up about all my feelings. I can say what happened and how I feel. Sometimes I don't even have to talk. I can just be with someone and feel better. Sometimes, when my feelings are mixed together, I like to pretend. I can pretend my animals have the same feelings I do. I can dance and swirl around just like my feelings swirl inside of me. Moving helps me feel better. I can even paint two pictures at the same time to show those together feelings. I make up my own words for my together feelings sometimes. If I am sad and mad together, I can say I'm smad. Or if I am feeling shy and happy, I say I'm shappy. I can make up a lot of pretending feeling words. And do you know what? When I'm older, sometimes I'll still have different feelings mixed together inside of me, and that's okay.